Hello everyone and welcome you to Mojo for Industry Development debate on digitalization and machine tool 4.0. The session is sponsored by Siemens. Machine tools have critical role in manufacturing industry and are called the mother machines because they make other machines possible. Machine tools market in India is expected to exhibit a CAGR of around 11.45% during 2022 and 27. We are now in the fourth industrial revolution, also known as Industry 4.0, which is about using technology and efficient, efficient processes alongside more intelligent platforms, things like Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data are all being used to augment and transform the manufacturing operations. What does this mean for specific areas of manufacturing, in particular for machining? And how is Industry 4.0 going to impact machine tools industry? To understand more about this, today we are joined by industry veteran, Mr. Chandrasekhar Bharti, founder and managing director, S Micrometic MIT. Welcome, sir. And Mr. Sachin Sanghi, cloud specialist, MindSphere, Siemens Digital Industry Software. Welcome, Mr. Sachin. Mr. Sachin will share his presentation on streamlining IIoT, that is, Industrial Internet of Things adoption for your Industry 4.0 journey, where he is going to talk about how digitalization is going to impact machine tools industry and benefits of connected machines for machine tool end users. Today, companies are sitting on a mountain of data. So there is there is no um, the data is there in how we are designing our products. Uh, they are getting connected to IT systems uh, when these machine tools are going into the shop floors. Um, they are using some resources from building infrastructure. Uh, they become production assets that are automation data. But how do you transform all this data into value? Uh, what we've been using in PLCs and automation for the past 15, 20 years, you know, we are doing that. But how do you transform all of this data together into, into some value? So there is a long way from data to value, right? Um, it is easier said than done. So typically, the first step is you have to connect and manage the assets. Some amount of connectivity you might have already, but when we are talking about industrial internet of things, uh, then the connectivity needs to have certain characteristics. So it, in most cases, it may warrant a relook on how your assets are connected and how they are managed. And what you get from there is raw data through sensors. This raw data in itself really has no meaning, but first this raw data needs to be put somewhere uh, where it can be uh, held in long-term storage and on which various rules and processes and algorithms can be applied, right? So, so the next step is data ingest and storage. Uh, and here is where we start to see that, okay, we need to make this data meaningful. We need to put some semantics to the data. And in order to put semantics, we have to contextualize the data. So if my sensor is giving me a particular tool temperature, a particular tool life, um, then on which production order it is working on, how many hours it has been it is working on, which uh, operator is assigned to it. Uh, so all that information has to be contextualized. And that's when the raw data from the field uh, becomes qualified for you to use. And then the fourth step is consuming. Um, so while it is a long way from data to value, uh, the good news is that um, all of this is now available in very easy to use, uh, very easy to scale, uh, very low entry barrier. Uh, there are several solutions that one can start with. And if that is your starting point to consider how to convert your data into value, which data into what value, then of course, this is only the starting point. Uh, there is a journey to it. And that, and that journey, of course, is digitalization or industry 4.0, like we mentioned in the beginning. So, so where your journey really leads you to is you start with connecting and monitoring. And this is what becomes your stepping stone to analyze what you have connected, collected, and then that analysis gives one the opportunity to start predicting uh, how long the tool is going to last. Is there any anomaly that is being observed? Can I prevent the repair? Can I prevent the breakdown from happening? Uh, can the deterioration in performance can be uh, predicted and prevented? And once we are mature to analyze and predict, that's where we really get into uh, digitalization, into true, real digital transformation. 
so as one has as one looks at industrial internet of things one of the way to look at it is uh, we can divide it into seven layers uh, it always starts at the bottom on the south bound is what you have uh, so once the layer 2 is well designed and implemented that opens up a world of uh, of a cloud infrastructure so a lot of this data that we are collecting on the floor today uh, we don't store it because we can't afford and it is not a good practice to have large data centers on the on the shop floor so once you uh, connect to global infrastructure it gives you the ability to store your data to compute that data in terms of big data and start mining it apply machine learning uh, build custom apps and then and then you uh, do a transformational decision making and and that's and that's how you start your journey into digital maturity uh, amongst the many tools available one of the uh, one of the market leading tools is mindsphere um it is a siemens technology um which is uh, which is highly evolved in terms of the comprehensiveness it provides so from uh, mr sachin's presentation it is clearly understood that the digitalization will completely transform the machine tools industry in the coming years now we are joined by mr chandrashekhar bharti who is going to talk about how indian machine tools manufacturers are adapting to the new environment question is how do we make digitization an industry for real okay and how do we sort of tie that with automation solutions which is where a lot of the industry is starting to move towards so one of the key requirements of digitization or industry 4.0 or now you know there is a nomenclature being used is uh, industry x.0 okay is when you look at the sequence of events that happen on any production shop floor let's say there is a certain event that has occurred at time t1 the discovery happens at time t2 the analysis happens at t3 the solution is applied at t4 with the hope that we are able to compress these response cycles as we go forward. so for each part of uh, compression of these cycles between t1 and t2 it could be real time system integration t2 to t3 so so on and so forth so this is sort of the domain of industry 4 or digitization so when you apply that to the context of the overall company there are two aspects one is how do you take all of that and make any company vertically integrated with all their processes right from raw materials coming in to the finished products going out and everything else getting connected to that and once a company like that is digitally integrated how could it become part of a value chain of uh, customers on one side and suppliers on the other side so this is sort of the big picture view of digitization and then how machine tools uh, can play a part in ensuring the uh, acceleration of this adoption so sachin talked about uh, what the needs of a customer is or an oem manufacturer is now we have a, a similar perspective but also an expanded perspective so fundamentally a customer is always going to be uh, keen on profitability the quality levels ease of doing business with uh, either their customer or with a, a machine vendor and the cost of doing business with a machine vendor or their own customer if you look at an equipment manufacturer what really drives us is how do we ensure that we feed back what we are seeing in the field into better machine performance it could be even from a design perspective or from a, a field perspective so are there service models that we need to explore that could be of benefit to the ecosystem and using real usage data we are able to help the customer achieve levels of productivity that they would potentially not do it in isolation there's also another aspect of this any machine needs service so an agency or a set of people doing servicing would like the customer to have better traction and stickiness with them because they want to go back and make sure that not only they are able to service the customer's need but also potentially grow them into future solutions so all of this together is what is driving digitization in machine tools or industry 4.0 in machine tools so in order to make this a successful engagement with the customer 
a machine tool manufacturer really needs to take a true solution partner philosophy because it's not simply a box that i hand over to a customer and uh, expect that a customer does whatever they are supposed to do including the ability of looking at the boundary conditions for example you know sachin talked about let's say an industry iot gateway now what happens if the gateway goes down or what happens if the cloud infrastructure goes down or the connectivity goes down and for this to uh, result in a uh, useful outcomes it is a technology play it's a domain play and it's also a uh, service play so what is required for continuous uh, innovation is to ensure that whatever is being seen at any customer is sort of fed back into the uh, development cycle and the service cycle to mature the models that will help add value to the customer in the future so with this i'd like to uh, you know conclude my quick uh, presentation and uh, talk though digitalization is inevitable we actually fairly could make out from the presentations of uh, mr sachin as well as mr bharti uh, that is very inevitable for the machine tools industry but there are some challenges for organizations as mentioned by both both the speakers to embark on digital transformation so to start with uh, mr bharti could you share your opening remarks on the challenges basic challenges what the machine tools end users are facing well, there's different categories one is categories of what an sme customer typically faces and this would be the profile of a, a an owner driven company who has been fairly successful and has gotten to a certain level of uh, technical competence and some amount of managerial uh, competence as well the second class of uh, 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 challenges faced could be the mid to large size aspiring companies where they sort of broken the barrier of a uh, msme but they are yet to get into a completely process driven systems driven organization the third category is very large organizations are very mature organizations that tend to be fairly systems driven or process driven now it, it all sounds uh, you know very nice to think of uh, different stages of maturity but each of them have their own challenges and uh, pain points as well so if you look at the sme a lot of the time the level of digital maturity that is the ability to consume data is missing and it is missing primarily because the value attributed to data is not yet tangible because the owner driven company typically believes that look i've been doing this for the last 25 years you know i've gotten to let's say 50 crores 100 crores or uh, 200 crores of uh, revenue and i actually have a enterprise that i've built and i'm running nicely you know i probably take back a profit and a dividend as well so the uh, perspective of uh, what more do i need to do with data may not be uh, you know that value accretive so here what is required is for such companies to partner with uh, you know agencies or entities such as let's say the cii smart manufacturing uh, entity or nascom or imtma where there are the centers of excellence who can come in and help them with understanding the maturity model itself of digitization and perhaps do a diagnosis of where they are and then what could matter to them the mid tier of uh, the maturity model uh, suffers from uh, a need to grow fast at the same time not necessarily having the leadership skills to sustain digital journeys they could do it as perhaps a proof of concept or maybe in one division or one unit but then how do you really scale it up from a cross functional perspective the large companies uh, are obviously far more adept with uh, perhaps imbibing digital uh, flows there the uh, real challenge comes from how do i engage my value chain to also participate because it is a network effect that the large companies require and here what we have seen is we start with those processes which are part of the normal business that they have to do anyway so sort of the hygiene of what they need to do and we digitize that and that results in a much lower 
business friction and a much higher offtake quickly right the value chain so so the solutions are different the pains are different the categories could also be different based on the industries but it is a, a complex mix of how we need to approach that with a lot of domain expertise uh, mr sachin uh, can you uh, share your uh, opening thoughts on the challenges in the digital transformation journey overall if i start with the challenges the timely delivery of good quality and low cost products i think that is still the main challenge of indian machine tool sme and with the covid the demand going down i think uh, the other the other uh, challenge uh, which is causing some stress in the system um, since we all know automotive contributes to a very large part of the growth in india for the machine tool industry and as the evs are coming into play there are lesser number of machine parts there are fewer parts and fewer machine parts uh, that are required right so these are some of the challenges that are sort of you know from the top that are coming down on the other side if we see what what also the pandemic has induced is i believe it has induced some slow down in prototyping of the parts right because uh, 3d printing also has not been able to gain as much uh, as a technology uh, i by no means mean to be an expert on the 3d printing technology but i think that there is more room left uh, for prototyping parts as well so that's on the opportunity side uh, the other the other opportunity really lies in uh, new kinds of materials that are coming up and uh, and uh, in applying digital transformation to your business as usual um so as as our products keep changing as new materials keep getting invented there is again an opportunity for the uh, machine tool industry to partake you know that support that like you talked about that these are mother machines so it is not just the materials of today uh, if we look out maybe two decades from now um, there will be everyone will be dealing with new kind of materials so that also becomes an opportunity so how does one really um, really go after these challenges how do you meet these challenges and how do you unlock some opportunities um it excellent quality of tool design is a hygiene factor uh, the backbone really is digital transformation and uh, collecting and managing data uh, efficiently executing it uh, putting in the the necessary safeguards there will always be some risk takers that will be early adopters that would that would be there and then there will be followers who would see the success of early adopters and follow uh, so there so there are contingencies uh, there are various uh, various again how well you plan and execute your digital transformation can help you meet these challenges uh, because by having a backbone of data you will be ready uh, for all the ups and downs that come last point i would again like to build upon uh, what was said by the previous speaker is the top management competency uh it becomes extremely important that uh, uh as managers we also educate our top management that's um, that, that that's the duty of the people who are running the businesses to come back uh, with examples and 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 get the buy in of the top management show them uh, what lies uh, where the transformation is happening where the successful uh, new innovations are coming from um and then and then it goes into you know and that will help you meet your uh foreign manufacturers trying to come into india uh, supply chain disruptions that are coming along logistics uh, management that is happening uh, so those those are really uh, the challenges the opportunities uh, and and how digitalization plays a role uh, that i would like to stay thank you mr varthi as well as mr sachin once again it was my pleasure pleasure having you here today the session is sponsored by siemens for more updates Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.